So I'm going to show you how to do spiral curls. Um, I don't know if you watched my hair tutorial before, but this is a regular one and a half inch curling iron. This one's Hot Tools. And I have, yeah, I have the temperature all the way up. It's probably not good on 450, but I don't hold it on there long so it doesn't burn my hair. Um, this is made with like the little, you know, the little handle thing to clip your hair in. So I take all the handles off so I can use this basically as a wand. I like it better because it's not big and it gets skinny. Also, you don't have to wear like a glove because I know most people wear a glove because it's like iron all the way down, which makes the tip hot. This way you can hold the tip of the iron. Um, it takes a, it don't take that long to do my hair, but I did most of it because you're not going to want to watch me do my hair for 25 minutes. It's really boring. Um, but I use these little clips to section my hair in layers. So what I do is I, you know, do this as a layer and then I will twist it, put it up, and I'll have about seven of these clips all the way down. So, let me show you. And by the way, I really like these hair brushes because they don't rip your hair out. They're wet brushes. And now there's a bunch of knockoffs, so you don't have to pay $20 for the actual wet brush, like the original one I bought. So you take a little section of hair. It's a little bit too much. You want them to be a little smaller, like this. Take your curling iron. You can even twist this a tiny bit so they stick together better. And you're going to wrap it. And we'll see how I put the little piece right here on the end? So I can actually hold it without a glove or burning my fingers. I pull it out. You can like hold it for a second. It's a little hot. And then it falls really nicely. You'll be able to see a little bit better when I come to the front. Another thing you can do is you can do them in different directions. You see how this one is going towards the back. And I'll do the opposite, or the next one, the opposite direction towards the front. That way, you know when people curl their hair, it might um, be like one big curl and they all intertwine. Like, I hate that. There's no point of doing small sections if your hair is going to do that. And this is actually a little bit too thick. So I'm going to take some of this and put it over here and do two layers on this side. All right, so that one was to the back. We can do this one to the front. And I will do the entire row all the way around before I decide to spray my hair with hairspray and I'll show you what kind of hairspray I use. I don't know if you guys have seen this before, but it's actually a genius idea. You see how there's a mirror behind me, right? So when I get ready and do my hair, I stand right here. That way I can see all the back of my hair to make sure I get every piece and then when it's clipped up and the reason I found how to do that was by accident really. Um, an old friend of mine, I remember I was getting ready in his little small guest bathroom and he had a mirror on the back of the door which of course was in front of the big mirror. So if you have a door on the opposite side of your mirror, what you do is see here's the mirror that I look in to get ready. There's one behind it, which is the closet. So I open it in the right spot. And when I find out where I open it, like if I'm standing here doing my hair, wait, you can't see from there. I'm trying to show you. You see how I can see myself in the back of that mirror so I can see all my hair. And then, um, oh my God, it saves so much time. And then plus you're not having little pieces missing. Like when I go travel and stuff and I get ready, in other places that don't have a mirror behind me, it drives me crazy. I'm like, I feel like I can't do my hair without it, so. And I would say, I would give myself, depending on if you have long hair, at least 30 minutes to do your hair like this. Because it can take a while. And then of course, you know, you never want to try a new hairstyle <laughs> last minute when you have somewhere important to go. I would do it when you have nowhere to go or you have plenty of time to rewash your hair 
and do something else if it looks crazy. So this is not something you want to try the first time if you have somewhere important to be because you might be looking crazy. Um, I'm really good and fast at it now, but it used to take me a long time to curl my hair like this, but now I'm really good at it. All right, let's see. And see, my underneath my brown, it doesn't hold curls that well, but I kind of like it because you can see how you can see the dark on the underneath of my hair. But if you notice, these little wavy curls are way different than curls with when you use the clamp. So this hairspray is bedhead, and um, it says Massive Shine Hairspray. It's a little expensive. I think it's like. 18 or $20 um, a bottle you can get it I get it from Ulta I don't know a lot of places don't have Ulta's um, but that's where I get it sometimes they have them on sale but it smells really good it doesn't smell like strong alcohol like hairspray and then also it gives you a nice hole without being hard and crunchy like all these curls are really really soft but it's enough to hold them separately apart I'm like messing up here because I'm talking too much to you guys. But I'm also going to do a hair tutorial of um, how to do waves in your hair because I have this like really cool waver that, you know, some people wave their hair with a flat iron, which I feel like is impossible. I haven't been able, like I haven't learned how to do anything besides straighten my hair with a flat iron. And I'll show you the one I use, which is my favorite one. See, this piece is like a little too short, so you gotta try to grab it in there too. This is my flat iron. It's a Babyliss Pro and it's titanium. It gets really hot. And then it's like the skinny one. It's like a, is this a half inch or an, I think it's an inch. It's a lot easier than using the big square ones. I feel like those just sit there and burn your hair. And by the way, I'm kind of late. I'm about to eat at Spawn Divots with um, Judy. And I told her, I was like, you know, I had a phone call that I needed to be on with um, my Cal Bear. You guys remember Cal Bear? It's my bodyguard. So I was talking to him for a good bit. And I was like, oh my God, the time. I'm going to be late. And I hate being late. Always on time for everything. And last time I went out with Judy, she was two hours late. So I was like, she can wait this time. Um, but I will also be meeting... Allie for the first time, aka Alicia. She's the new girl on BGC 14. And usually I get nervous to hang out with girls from the show because especially when you haven't seen them on TV before because you never know if they're going to be crazy or if they're going to be embarrassing. And, you know, I had talked to her a long time ago through text message. And now that her episode came on a few days ago, I'm like, oh, she's actually really sweet. She's really pretty. She's cool. So... I don't mind going out with her, so we're going to go eat at Spondivich, which is a seafood restaurant. It's really good. It's um right by the airport in Atlanta, and that's actually one of my first really big jobs. Um, I bought my house working there, and I also bought my first Cadillac CTS working there, so it's a really good restaurant job um, as far as money is concerned, plus the food's really, really good. All right, so now we're getting towards the top layer. Damn it. This piece is really hot. I try not to hold it on my hair too long with it especially being blonde. You don't want to see steam coming up from your hair because basically you're burning your hair. And with all my hair being ripped out multiple times, I need as much hair as I can get. You can also do these curls just like normal with clip-ins, um, extensions, weave, whatever. I used to have Cinderella hair in my hair, which is like protein bonded. And it's kind of like a little round wax piece. It's really expensive, but it looks really good. And those can like melt if you put this thing too high on it. So of course, if you have clip-ins or anything like that, you just wouldn't pull it as hard and you would start higher up like this rather than all the way at your root. But even when your hair's real, don't do it too close because you're going to burn your head. Alright, so we're getting somewhere. We're almost finished. Um, I'm still not that great at doing the front part around my face because sometimes I don't know which direction I want it to go in. Um, I usually part to my left 
because the right side of my face is better than the left side. Um, but yeah, it can be, it can be difficult. And then a lot of times my hair, because my hair holds curl really well, my hair will look better the second day than it does the day that I do it. We're about to see what's going on up here. Because I really hope I can make the front look good for you guys. So I'm not looking crazy. I'm like, I don't do my hair like that. All right, so decide what side you're parting on. I'm going this way to my left. I don't know if that's your right. I don't know if it's backwards on this Mac. Some hairspray. You can tease your hair. Um, I don't really like teasing my hair. I feel like it makes your hair look like it's fake. Whether it's fake or not, I feel like it makes it look fake. And after having it super teased on All-Star Battle and with those little bitty curls in it and it looked like I had on a damn helmet or fake hair, which was really irritating because, you know, other girls like Megan had really pretty curls and it's like, these girls have weave and their hair looks real. My hair's real and it looks like I have weave. So the whole teasing thing, it just... It doesn't sit well with me. And, you know, I see girls with their hair teased and it's cute, but it just, it's not for me. I don't like it on me. See, it's kind of like crisscross. This, in a minute, we'll, um, we'll decide what we're going to do. You can, like, flip your hair or something like that. Okay, so we're going to put this on this side, this on this side. You guys notice I need my roots touched up. Every three weeks I go. And I'm really debating... Um, of doing my hair like Khloe Kardashian's the way it is now or really the way it was in her interview for when her and Kim went to Armenia and it's like where it was so I'm doing it back I never you never want to do the ones near your face to the front like it just it doesn't look right so always do this one back and I would do the a couple of them that are near your face back instead of forward remember we're alternating the ones back there all right, so, yeah, I really like the way her hair was. It was like a darker brown on top. Like, I was born light brown. Not light brown, sorry. Dark, sandy blonde. And the older I got, the darker my hair got. But I've been dyeing my hair since sixth grade. Like, it started purple. It was jet black for a few years before I even went blonde. I did every color, like blue, red. Um, I never did green. Ugh. I tried pink, which that didn't do well on my hair barely see it all right so here's these last two pieces doing them see you can do back this way or you can do it like back but kind of down you see how this thing is at an angle my curling iron so yeah Chloe's hair was really really pretty it was um this darker brown to medium brown to super platinum blonde at the bottom I added um low lights to my hair maybe a couple months ago that's why it's like darker and not as platinum as before I feel like it softened my look so I don't look so porn starish playboy model. It's like a little bit of dimension to my hair. All right, we're about to see. Yes, yeah, all right. This little piece right here is kind of cute. And then I'll show you. So we're going to spray it. Spray this side. And I just told you it smells good. It actually don't stink. It just, it's like in my mouth and in my throat. All right. So do it like this. This thing actually don't look too bad. I'm kind of scared to flip my hair because what if I mess it up? Sometimes, you know, people like flip the bottom of it to like make it where it's not so hard looking. Yeah, it's cute, right? So this is how you do, um... I'll put this up here because that looked crazy. Spiral curls. And again, this is a Hot Tools one and a half inch um, curling iron with, of course, the little clasp removed. Really easy to remove them. It's just a Phillips head screwdriver. So remove that. The little spring pops off. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Next, I'll show you how to do the waves with this. And this is a Revlon. Um, $20, $25 maybe from Walmart. You can pretty much get these anywhere. And this one I found out works really, really well. I had it in um, a smaller one as a hot tool. Actually, let me show it to you. And I believe I paid like $50 for this hot tool one, but I don't like it. It's the triple barrel again, but look how skinny it is. 
do not get this one. Like, I, I don't like this one whatsoever. So the cheaper 20, $25 Revlon word one works a lot better. And I guess I got to go put on my dress. And um, I'm about to go eat a lot of seafood. But I'll see you guys later.